with a pair of sailboats, seven kids and a wife, and I fancy I'll carry on boating. I thought with my windlass and taken some knocks from the Bromidium wharf to the Western Point docks, and I thought for me turn on the Camden Town locks when I'm wanted in Limehouse for loading. Myself and the missus has nearly been drowned when working by night on the 15 mile pound with a big lower spelt of the Bernigam bound and the weather has been pretty bloody. I've been down to Oxford with a load of DS, 55 ton out of grip arm no less, and I boated to Wallingborough two boats abreast when the water's been coming down bloody. Then wind up your motor and let your blade churn. Keep a sharp eye on the oil that you burn. And feel for the snatch from the body astern. And don't keep the company waiting. There are two boats uh, called Renfrew and Lucy. And the Lucy we've had for ten years. Renfrew, we've had eight years now. There's four of us working boats. The crew from Alliston to Saithall, and we've been carrying coal now for 38 years. many holes, 
So many topaz be made up for the dredges. Sometimes you get uh, gravel on it. When you get your front wheel stuck in the gravel, you have a job to get it out again. Some of them you get holes in the towpath. You all the miss them will go in them. I was landing the canal. So you got two two charges. All the top on the towpath will go in the canal. So the average speed at which you travel on canal, roughly about more than 20 minutes. That's loaded. We can't go no fast if the canal won't let us. Quick we get through the lock, quick we get down the depot for unloading, and quick we get back. I average half past four some mornings till half past ten at night, I'm boiled. I think I'm boiling. Any pleasure boats in there, just ask them off that. Get ahead. Or top that is pump boy. Or just clear the way. We still work for the, the rain, unless it rains too hard. We ha well, we have to keep changing our coats. And uh, but it's when we run out of coats that's the problem. We can't get them dry fast enough. When he, we were going along near Wolverton one day, and it came on a big thunderstorm. And uh, he got off with his bike to go to fetch some bread, and my daughter said, Mum, she said, Dad ain't took his raincoat on. I said, well, that's his fault. I said, he should be old enough to know if he's going to get wet. But he'll be waiting in the bridge, I said, when we get to Wolverton, which he was, waiting with the bread and waiting for his raincoat. I just missed that storm. He said, uh, looks as if we're going to get another. So we went a few yards along the towing path. The next thing we seen he, that he fell in the cut with his bike and all. He was thrilling. Now to think that he waited for his raincoat so he wouldn't get wet. And the next thing we seen him popping up in the cut. Oh, the Lord are laughing. I can remember where he used to unload about five boats a day, which we have a job to unload to now. And I can remember when we used to load up, as they used to load about 14 boats a day. They load two boats a day now, but they load by lorry to the shoveling it in. But there's not that many boats now to load up, so I suppose that's why they don't rush about so much. I've been on about 51 years. And uh, ever since I've been able to work, I've had to work. Can't read and write, but I'm never had to count money. It's a bit hard in the winter, but we don't take much notice on it because we've been brought up to the hard life. Work for the Sammy Barlow, which are finished. Coal contractor, they are finished. Then Blue Line took over us. And I've been working Blue Line ever since. Used to work to our nib. And they, some of the trades seemed to do away. And some of the people walked, used to work with us, left. I've seen a lot of trading boats go off the canals in my time, and a lot of the places where they used to take the coal to and gone on to oil. It was, oh, there used to be hundreds and thousands. There used to be about 14 or 15 pairs a week go to Oxford regularly. We're slow now, we're a bit old-fashioned.